But Alicia, before we get into, um, you know, PSG and whatever, there are like a lot of games releasing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Arena Infinite. Hey. The that new arena game what was it breakout arena break arena yeah, breakout, breakout yeah yeah and it it seems to run good like i signed up for their beta access which i did not get of course um of course i mean we might still get it eventually who knows but when you sign up they're like oh make sure you have at least a 2060 card nice at least like somewhat realistic like yeah. <laughs> that, like oh I'm make sure you got that. a 3090 from blah 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 you know <laughs> my stream pc's got a 2060 and i was like mm. it should be still fucking good like yeah. it should still be a, um, it's annoying that people have to mm. yeah, have to upgrade so much it is no, you need, it's gonna get to the stage where Oh, the minimum requirements for this game is a 4090, whatever. Is, is, is whatever the greatest and latest, like, yeah. newest piece of hardware is. No, come on, man. Get, get real. Optimize your fucking games. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I had, a, I had an interesting thought earlier today. Um, if, you, if you think back, like, you, you played PUBG, right? When that came out? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Not as much as you and Dan, but I did yeah. play a little bit. Yeah, we jammed a lot, especially in the early days when Aaron Gale was a thing. Um, anyway, because that was kind of the first, you know, Battle Royale game. And everyone was on it and it was so big. And then the market was kind of starved for more options. And then more things came out. You know, your Fortnite and everyone started making one. Your War Zones and and bloody blah, 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 blah. I kind of wonder if we're now in the same boat with like the extraction shooter thing. Mm. Um, there's been other ones that kind of tried, but I feel like with Grey Zone and Arena, they're a bit more in line with stealing the Tarkov base, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I wonder if it's just that natural progression, you know, um, PUBG was on top and then um, more things came along. We've got some more drama since, since then. Um, Nikita's like found his code inside their code base. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's, that's interesting. The yeah. Names, yeah. Like, is that real though? Names from his game. Oh, it is like, um, other people have looked at it too. Like, um, you can, you know, you get those programs that decompile the, the DLLs and they can see that it, they can see all the Tarkov bosses are in their, in their source code when they're playing the game. Kind of, kind of hacking the game, right? That's kind of what the cheats do. <laughs> mm. But yeah, they can see in this game. Yeah, there's a yeah. That was Like, is it, I wonder if it is that Could be or a whether yeah exactly whether it's in there <laughs> so that at some point they'll you know when the, when the timing is right like have a have a bit of a troll moment of like oh this boss is there the yeah. only thing is the only thing is one of the boss's names in their in their source code was named after the guy who modeled all the so you know they had all the um constant values to to this boss was actually named after one of the guys who designed them so it was actually one of, Russian, or one of these one of the one of the, right one of the russian uh, modeler oh, the guy yeah. who was doing the modeling for bsg mm -hmm. the and they've got that exact name in their source code so <laughs> 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 that was a bit more dodgy mm -hmm. so i'm wondering if they even though it's an unreal so it's c sharp and c plus plus you can obviously convert c sharp to c plus plus if you know what you're doing so um so they might i I'm, i suspect they had a look in the dll files of um tarkov so they can grab ideas how their weapon systems work and ballistics and well no one reinvents the wheel right <laughs> like... yeah so they de i think they did decompile their uh mm. and I, I probably know the program they used with c sharp it's actually pretty easy <laughs> to do uh, mm. i remember doing that for i had a 
a job interview once and they send me a DLL, find me all the bugs in this DLL, I just decompile it, read the code. <laughs> and then is it actually readable? Found all the bugs. Is it actually yeah, readable, readable or does it just yeah. like go V equals one? No, I no, the know. actual reliable names are there. Yeah. And uh, you have to use that you have to use that program after you compile it where it renames all the variables to A, B, and C and then shortens everything. Right. And even right. the and the method name, so it becomes spaghetti. Mm. <laughs> but um obviously Tarkov obviously didn't use that. <laughs> They probably should have, but it made it a lot harder for them to mm. figure out the game. But yeah, that's the accusation, and there's screenshots on Twitter, so we might be able to talk about that a wee bit. Everyone's mudslinging. Well, I mean, he's so feeling the pressure, I guess. Whether people copy code or whether they just copy concepts and ideas, like the reality is that those that come second can generally do something better than those came first because they can you, you don't have to start on from zero on your your user research and everything to try and figure out you know what works and what doesn't so mm -hmm. like that's that's just the reality of of being the being the og it's harder to um stay on top i yeah, think definitely. anyway i think it's the same with software and everything you know like the first time something gets built like it's, it's, it's always easier for a competitor if they have enough money, enough people, enough motivation to come along and um, surpass because, well, you can just look what was done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess the TLDR there is like, be as you just do better. Like, it doesn't matter if they copy it or not. Like, it'll never be Tarkov. At, 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 <laughs> To be honest, it's not as good as Tarkov from what I've seen, but um, very arcadey sort of. Well, that's the that. that's the argument, yeah. right? Like maybe yeah. it just provides a different avenue. Like I don't play Tarkov nearly that much, and maybe it's better suited for that casual, like every now and then play than. Um, yeah, exactly. I don't, yeah, I don't like, know. Um, I'll, I'll have to play it first before yeah. I have my final opinion, because well, yeah. you only can tell so much from. <laughs> Yeah, and you can tell so much from watching people, right? But yeah, man, we got Grey Zone, we got Arena Breakout. Um, v, v Rising, I'm thinking. V Rising is at 1.1 and Homeworld 3 has released. Homeworld 2 was like 20 years ago or something. Like, Fuck, I used to love that. Game. Yeah, I know, right? I'm so excited to play that as well. Just like, realized I had my headphones on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the true, that's how you know you're a true expert, you know, you just... It can yeah. work it any way around. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, like Homeworld 3 and fact, I've been enjoying Fallout 76. This is, I, I feel like I've been, I'm, I'm re-energized in, in, in gaming, I think. Because it's like stuff that is actually fun to play and get back in, which is cool. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to a new wife on Tarkov and, looking forward to lots of games really but yeah man um so one thing that we did want to talk about was tarkov and it's um i mean people have kind of covered this to death so whether or not we need to actually talk about it i don't know um but maybe we just talk about it briefly the, and we can talk the, about arena breakout as well yeah. the unheard yeah. the unheard is it even still a thing or did they just go fully back on it no nah, it's still there yeah it's still there it's there yeah it's still 250 bucks. Still 250 bucks. I, I would love to know how many copies they've actually sold. Probably more than you realize. You reckon? Oh, some people love this game. Like, you, but you, you reckon you, like there's that many new players or would it actually be like people that have Edge of Darkness buying it? There, there's, yeah, I think lots of, but probably mainly people who have got Edge of Dark, Darkness by it. I don't know how much they would have sold from, you know, from scratch. That's from, that's what I thought would be the main market. Huh. Hmm. I know. I always thought like it would be the upgrade. I think he's trying to get EOD play people to upgrade. I think that was hmm. his plan all along to spend another hundred bucks. Yeah. Uh, he's, re he's reduced it to 40, I mean, to 50. So. Yeah. I think that was his plan. Yeah, and everyone got butthurt about it. <laughs> uh, 
like it, it was handled poorly, but I don't get so sensitive to those things anymore. Mm. You know, it's the the loud voices are always, and it's not. I I I, I always wonder as was the community that pissed off or was it just the loudest voices on Reddit? And kind of, yeah, <laughs> it's very yeah. true. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like the political side of things. Yeah. Like we're the average player who just wants to get home from work. Did he actually care? Yeah. Well, they're either going to buy it or not. Um, and um, yeah. yeah, like we were saying the other day, like the reality is um, someone has to pay for running this game. And if there's no market in the game for you to spend money on like, you know, buying levels or like a pay to win system or skins or like whatever i mean skins are not even going to pay for the server runs to be honest mm. like what keeps the game alive because if there's no like if everyone that was going to buy the game already has like an eod edition or something because surely sales have been dropping over time because there's only so many people that are interested in the game right like how do you keep it running <laughs> i i think it's also like this entitlement, eh? Yeah. I paid $150 fuck a dollars and I've got 10,000 hours. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, mate, I think you need to... It's in the sentence, mate. you got 10,000 hours. <laughs> Divide that by your, your 100 bucks and, uh, and and see how much you pay per that's hour. The best, that's the best deal you've ever got out of a game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Like, World of Warcraft, want... arguably, like, you know, if you just look at like World of Warcraft with their subscription models, like how long has that game been around? And the only reason it is around for that long is because you pay monthly to play it. They, yeah, well, we could we could discuss this actually. So might as well start. Oh, we're on. We've been on for ages. Oh, we've been on for ages. <laughs> 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 Cut this bad out. <laughs> but, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> No, um, yeah, so they just they just don't know how. He doesn't know how to communicate, Nikita, really, and mm. that's his problem. He, 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 he should have, like, run this by the community a wee bit, and then he would have got a feel for how they were going to react. And then he would have said, oh, okay, well, f- feedback taken, you know, we'll go back to mm. the drawing board. And, but somehow i think he likes to create drama and i've always got that in the back of my head (laughs) yeah and ultimately like does it really matter what the current community thinks if you're not making money out of them like they're playing the game and they're using the servers to to play on it but they're Mm. not paying to play it right so if if you whatever you can do to get yourself like in the news <laughs> mm. or front of mind again. Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a bad play. No, no. Like, and he, and he certainly got himself in the news. I, I actually wonder if that made his sales go up. I really would like to look at that. I yeah. know they have never released that stuff, but I was wondering to see if like. Well, I mean, it, it, it's got it. Like, cause the only reason to have done any of this was sales must be like, you know, in a pretty steady decline mm. otherwise there'd be no reason i think his rash decision about the pricing and that was caused by the failure of, uh, of arena mm. um, and i think that game did so poorly and because he offered it to eod people for free which was a bad mistake because it's not a dlc it's a separate game so he could have <laughs> easily he could have easily charged people for that one and when you read read the fine print, it's not DLC. Yeah, so, I bet you'd have all the same conversations and ra- ranting oh, that, and raving you have now. You'd have you would have had then. No, but and that was part of the problem. So all the hardcore players that all got EOD, they're the ones who got it all for free anyway. So, mm. so that was a bad decision. I yeah, think. I I honestly think like they should just do subscription models, man. It's the only way. Solve the, the revenue stream problem and, like, I don't know. If you, like, it, your EOD will still include all future DLCs and so on. So that doesn't preclude from paying a subscription to play the game. 
You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, exactly. Like if people that don't have EOD will pay subscription and if they if they want like a newer version of like new things that get added, then you just gotta buy it. Because ultimately like someone has to pay for running this shit. <laughs> and like, and people are like complaining about the pay to win. I'm like, EOD was pay to win anyway. So yeah. <laughs> we're already there. You got a big butt <laughs> pocket, man. Don't yeah, tell me that, that that doesn't help you, especially early game. It does, man. Like it helps you put all that fucking valuable shit up mm. your ass. So yeah. And and I wait, yeah, I guess like I never like the I saw a lot of people saying, Oh, we bought this for the DLC and I was like, no, I didn't. found that rip. No, you didn't. You bought it for the fucking the gamma container and the extra stash base. Don't fucking tell lies. I bet a lot of people didn't even notice that free DLC bloody bulletin point to the bottom. I didn't. Mm. <laughs> That's not what I bought it for. I don't, and I never believe we get DLC anyway. Yeah. Let alone, I was like, this game probably won't even get to 1.0, let alone the DLC. <laughs> But mm. looks like it might make it though, so maybe there will be DLC. But I don't know. It's just I, I just find both sides were quite annoying. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting in the middle. It's like, yeah, no, BSG really did do a pretty shitty thing. <laughs> they definitely tried to scam you out into more mm. money, definitely. But like, but that's business, really. <laughs> If we go hypothetical and they let's say they they went down the subscription route and that was what was announced and so not unheard or anything, it was just like, look, guys, from the next wipe, um, it's gonna cost you ten bucks a wipe for the mm. season. We're gonna mm. call that a season is the wipe, and and that's it. Like, what do you think the reaction would be? fucking almost just as it's almost just the same <laughs> shit right <laughs> yeah it's like those servers though those cpus on those servers aren't fucking for free mate <laughs> yeah i think he but, uses aws so that shit ain't cheap yeah well none of it is cheap yeah um but yeah uh, i definitely get it though like i get both just, why i i get both sides like but yeah, the, he did try to do it in a scummy way, in a way. But so you got to hit him where it's due. Yeah. But but come on, EA's been doing this for years. <laughs> we should be used to this. <laughs> yeah, they're getting overboard, man. Trying to sell you the game in the game. Thanks, man. I was just, it's just too nuts. <laughs> yeah, like the one of the CEOs, ex CEOs, EA tried. Came out with the idea of charging people for reloading their magazine, <laughs> like in a shooter to reload. Your yeah, a call, a, a call of Duty or one of those games. Yeah. Was oh man, field. can you imagine? Like in in those yeah. games, I'm like such a nervous like reload. Like I shoot two bullets and I hit reload. <laughs> <laughs> that was one cent. What? Yeah. <laughs> you Jesus. could charge them one cent for a reload. Yeah, I would get charged all the uh, all the time. I was mm. always reloading. If I fired a burst, I'd reload. It's only Tarkov that broke that habit for me. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was the Tarkov dramas. I guess it's all blowing over now, and people probably forget about it with their with our rabbit brains. I guess we mm. <laughs> we fucking we move on to the next freaking drama. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the, um, like the popularity of 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 Tarkov, like with Arena and Grey Zone. Like, I mean, it's probably still a bit early, um, especially for for Grey Zone, just because of the performance Definitely for stuff. Definitely Grey Zone, yeah. Um, but whether that's gonna sort of dilute the player pool in Tarkov a little bit, I'd imagine so. Like the, it. it uh, the game seems good enough. Like the bits that we've played, it definitely didn't seem shit. Like it. it's the I can see a game loop there. I can mm. see it. I, it's kind of that Daisy Tarkov hybrid. Yeah, that we we've probably kind of always wanted. Um, 
Uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's the cycle, but not being a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, not being a cartoon. <laughs> cycle. Whatever. I just like when I played that. I was just like, oh, so someone's just tried to make Fortnite tack off. Okay, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> yeah, but and I. But, but that I, was a I good game. It. I'm sad for them that it didn't work, man, because it, it's literally Grey Zone just with a different skin. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just, they they chose the wrong thing. Mm. It, it, that's all they did wrong. They really, like, and that's what's so important about games. You've got to, yeah, you got to choose the right thing, eh? Or otherwise, mm. um, people just you got, you got to capture that more of the bigger audience. And I guess that's why Tarkov can do it because it, it's that realistic look. It's, you know, people people get attracted to that and um, being able to pull all your guns. And, and that was another thing about the cycle. I just found the guns very generic fucking sci-fi movie guns. Yeah, like, and there's nothing really to yeah. do on them, right? You just sort yeah. of get thing and off you go. I found that like mm. it, there was no substance there, and I yeah, it it kind of went how I thought it would. Like Marauders, like, there was another mm. one. I, I never I even, even tried that to be honest. I I think I tried it when they had a free demo, and I was like, hey, within half an hour, I knew this game wasn't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when they when they got that clunky feel to them, it's just like. Nah, nah. But then it's again, just, Daisy feels clunky, and that's freaking survival. But Daisy's crazy. got so much to it, though. Like mm. it's got so many features to back it up, yeah, and man. the mod support and all of that stuff. Daisy's, yeah, just it's got more substance, right? And mm. it's got the right theme. Like people love that zombie apocalypse stuff, so that's a very popular theme in the game. If you do that right, you can't go wrong. You know, you've got Zomboid and all these other games that have done so well with that theme. I guess it started off with Left 4 Dead, if you played that. But yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A, that, that theme has always been really popular. But, yeah, I, I didn't think the cartoonish landing on an alien planet was was the right mm. approach. Yeah, it's sad, man. Feel for them. But, oh, well. I do. A lot of hard work. Can't eh? all win, I guess. It ran well, programmed pretty well. Yeah, it ran like a dream, man. Yeah, so yeah, I feel for them. Well, hopefully, the next one is a is a banger. Mm. But yeah, that's that's the gaming industry, eh? You win and you lose. Some <laughs> just the way it is. But yeah, arena breakout. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we can get like, I, I flavor tried to of the month. Access. Yeah, it definitely is flavor of the month at the moment. Um, my first look, uh, KD Tarkov is what I've got in mm. my head. The movement didn't look too fast, though. A wee, a wee bit slow movement. Yeah. Um, Tarkov is probably quicker. Um, <laughs> Depending on when you where you are in the way and your metabolism is at. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah <definitely. laughs> okay, if it's day one, you're <laughs> the asthmatic runner. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Um, no, I saw a game there. Like that's the maps look pretty interesting, um, mm. detailed. Ran really well from what I saw on very low end systems as well, which was good. Yeah, like, that's um, that's the topic. Another topic that's annoying me about games like that's so stupid, man. Like they're relying on this upscaling tech, and it's really annoying me. Like you should be aiming to get your game to work on uh quite low end graphics cards at least over a hundred frames. Like um I don't un like, low I can get for like the 4K stuff and blah blah but I don't think there's any excuse not to run your game native at 1440p and it should just run well at an, on an average like graphics modern graphics card. Like Yeah, anything that, from a twenty sixty upwards should be able that, to that run. should just be a thing. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, it's not okay, man. Like, I don't, I, 
I don't want to have to play a game and freaking fake 1080p in 2024 on my 1440p monitor. Like, it's, but here, here's the here's no. the thing: a lot of people <laughs> like saw streamers with 4090s and they're getting the 140 frames. What a lot of people didn't realize is they had frame generation on. Mm. So the game was actually getting half that, plus it had upscaling. So it was probably only getting like 50 frames on on that card. And that card is amazingly powerful, right? Like, it's, yeah. And the game, like, I mean, you both said, like, the game didn't look that good. Yeah. As good as what yeah. people said it was. I'm like, it's not that good. There's something wrong there with how it's rendering stuff. Mm. So um, something for them to work on. But yeah. Do you think that's just because Unreal 5 is new? Or like it's... Who I knows? Know, I, I, know, I know very little. It, <laughs> it, it, it could be like Tarkov. Like I've always suspected Tarkov, a lot of its frame problems are caused by the AI and how it runs. I think it's been... Mm. It's, beca- it's Well, you've proved a, that, right? If you go into an yeah. offline, right? And, yeah. yeah. It's, I think it creates a CPU bottleneck. So I'm wondering if that's hap- that could be happening in Grey Zone. There's mm. so many... Because there's quite a lot of AI running on that map at one time. If you think the three camps the three factions yeah. and they have their their little hometown and then you you're having those ai constantly respawning and and the helicopters and all of that stuff i think that's definitely definitely a lot going on there. for sure so i'm sure they'll find you know it'll just be a some badly written code somewhere and they'll they will optimize it and figure it out so it's early yeah. days, eh? So I don't want to be too critical on them. It's early days. Yeah, you got to wonder if it was a good idea to release now or not, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess in hindsight, they probably should have waited another three or four months. Um, just the, they, that, and I think they needed to do more testing on low end systems. Um, mm. Yeah, you can't just have, you whack in a 48 well it's not like it's unknown like it's, yeah they, they wouldn't they would know you know <laughs> they would know that you should you should really go we should fix that yeah, <laughs> yeah at, at least yeah and like people with the low end are obviously going to have to run the game at low that's fine but even in low its performance was terrible so um to me yeah. If you put a game in low, you should be able to run that on quite a low end graphics card. So yeah, they just got optimizations to optimizations to do. So yeah. That's gray zone. It just needs work. But I see potential there. <laughs> I see a game that I might enjoy in the future. Yeah, no, it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun for sure. I also see <laughs> it's gonna be fun for rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, i just see that that play loop eh? it was like spawn yeah. in run to the other camps like start area you like that it, first one where everyone does like their first quest and find a sneaky spot it, i'm i'm probably so gonna do that yeah <laughs> i mean you're not gonna get any fancy loot or anything but it's just the no, laws, really just for the laughs just mm. like <laughs> yeah I can see there'll be a lot of the rat-based streamers mm-hmm. are going to really enjoy that stuff. It'll be great content for them. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of wonder yeah. as well, because it's such a big map, right? And you sort of can take a helicopter to roughly the area where your quests are, you know, this one of, one of the towns or whatever. Is that just going to mean that you have a lot of map that's being rendered and taking processing power to render it that no one ever walks around in like all the jungle like between these cities like mm. i wonder if like how many people are going to spend time walking through that and what's the like what do you gain from mm. doing that and if if, if, that- if you don't gain anything and no one does it then you're just paying performance to render all of that the whole time exactly yeah um but i I think unreal engine has got this um real this nanite system uh, apparently that they're using in that game that's meant to help reduce that sort of 
Yeah, it's quite smart how it renders things in the distance. Mm. Um, and, you know, in most games, they just, it becomes a 2D image, basically. That's how they, they, they play tricks on the eyes, right? Trees become moved from 3D to 2D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's how most games do it. I think the Snanite system is a bit different than that. So I need to do some more research on it. But um, yeah, it, it seems like a very interesting system. I don't know how much they're using in this game, though. So we'll have to see. Let's hope they're using the full tool set to try and get some more performance. But yeah, worrying signs with games relying on this upscaling tech because it looks like putty to me yeah <laughs> it's not as yeah good. i always thought like it was meant to be like here's this dl is you know technology so that people with older systems can still hang on and play you know more modern games like it mm. shouldn't be here's your modern game with your modern hardware you need this to run the damn thing like it just doesn't yeah work. yeah it's not right and maybe maybe games are just becoming too graphics intensive but i, I kind of think programming <laughs> standards have been going lax going down the hill for a long yeah. time well you, so, like they yeah what they're getting more graphic intensive but they don't look any better <laughs> like, yeah, <I> <laughs> like like yes it's more like intense it's using more resources but um, I'm sorry, like, if I compare, like, Warzone 3 and I compare the look from Greyzone, like, Greyzone doesn't look better. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, even look at, you even look at Crisis. You look yeah. at Crisis. Um, when you put that on max graphics, like, everything on maximum, it, look, it looks even good today. Mm. Like, and I'm like, yeah, things haven't got that much better from crisis was a massive jump yeah. when that first come out i was like shocked i was like oh my god this is just amazing i mean my i could saved up to buy a 3d card just to play that just game to play. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't even that good of a game in the end yeah. um, but yeah um, that was yeah but i remember when i first tried it i'm like 3d card and it just just couldn't handle it so mm. it saved up and got a better one <laughs> but yeah yeah so i don't know uh, where all these resources are going because it's definitely not in the look of the game like i don't i don't get it eh? yeah i sometimes think it's how people are doing i don't know we'll never you just don't know until you know the code base i guess but mm. you're just speculating but yeah i always think it's like how they're doing the ai and how many things they're controlling on the screen I, I always think that's the bottleneck in a lot of games just because i'm learning game development at the moment i've i've noticed that how much that tanks the performance it's not the rendering of the things on the screen it's like the stuff that it's computing in the background mm. and and if you're not yeah not taking the right approach to that and you know looking up the gurus who will show you some real neat tricks you can do if you're just doing it in a unoptimized way it can really bring the game down so i think a lot of that is happening yeah yeah i we just don't have john carmax and game <laughs> game <laughs> companies who can like like doom have you ever played like the doom 3 game it's like one of the beautifully written games ever like i mean i've played doom and, games but i don't know about doom 3 i don't, I don't yeah, know yeah doom 3 is just like was an, an amazingly uh designed game mm. um but it's and it ran really well on pretty shitty hardware mm. <laughs> so um i but, wonder if it's a, is it a, is it a time thing like i'd be curious the development time for a game like you know back in the day when you bought it on a cd or a dvd later and you know install a game and play the thing like mm. how long did those take to make versus like games today say i don't know breakout arena or whatever like how long did that take and that time comparison i think that plays a part in some games it, definitely it, it still amazes me that you know when i started out playing games like you'd buy a cd from a shop go home install the game and just play it <laughs> and 
now buying a game and asking it to work seems like a big ask <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's just like mm. we're, 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 we're getting stuck in this cycle of constantly upgrading like like you, you like computers used to last way longer right and now because i had this the best graphics card i ever bought was probably this rx 480 it was an amd card it was really good and it lasted such a long time and i was like that and it was a mid-range card but that just doesn't work anymore mm -hmm. like mid-range cards are just not lasting long enough now yeah and people are yeah, for, almost, for a while i've been like oh, i'll just buy mid-range every second generation cards you know like skip, yeah. skip one buy the next but i don't know if that's a thing anymore eh? that, that's how i've always done it like mm. i've always brought the 70 class card you know mm. that's for or and all the equivalent of amd i would buy the the 70 class card they had which was you know pretty much the same performance as the nvidia version and i've always done it that way but i'm like jesus and th this is the first time i've actually in a long time um i've bought the a top end card and like even this is starting to struggle in some of these newer games I and mean, just just ridiculous yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing's a bloody beast and mm. yeah and, and here's but, the here's the funny thing right like you've been playing taco for so long and yeah. you always had like performance issues and whatnot and finally now it's starting to you know run really well and um mm. we can play it pretty smooth you know bar streets because it's still a bit not, not, not always there and now we're all moving away from the game <laughs> so yeah. we stuck through it for so fucking long playing when it was all shit <laughs> and now that it's like getting good people are like right we're gone <laughs> i i'm sort of i'm i'm coming to the you know you're getting the part of your life where you just want things to work now mm -hmm. like i don't want to t tinker with things anymore it's my I've main reason done... i'm not doing amd ever again <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Well, Intel's just as bad now, man. Like the their new CPUs they released have been an absolute disaster. So, um, I don't know if you've seen that what's been going on, but yeah, it's been been dramas on that side too. Like, mm. you just can't. I think they. I think the two companies are just pushing the hardware too hard. Um, yeah, this overclocking thing, you know. Just, uh, you kind of wonder maybe maybe if they just stop releasing hardware every year and just release every second year like then all the games that's would it. have to follow suit and not be like more resource intensive every bloody year because they have to work on what's available so, but i guess someone honest, has to give up money you know that wouldn't be the dumbest idea in the yeah. world but for them for their share you know yeah, it's just every every year has to be more money so they've, they've got to get that cookie every year they yeah. can't wait you have to pay years. a subscription on your cpu now <laughs> it's just like like yeah that, that that's the thing that's annoying me yeah like all the issues that we're facing with this new hardware like been running too hot and um and yeah just let's get shit together <laughs> <laughs> just optimize their games a bit better i i wish people would do that um i yeah i just think that's been a bit lost they're too quick to release it to the market i think like mm. really like they need to set some performance standards on their games really yeah but it's probably all the same problems you know they'll have investors people want money and exactly exactly i i don't mm. blame them it's just it's just frustrating for us that's all we just have to put out with it <laughs> and the upgrade the upgrade grind yeah 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 for sure man because i was hoping this computer would last a lot longer but i'm like fuck is it gonna be fucked in another like year and a half i'm like come on i don't want to buy another one yeah yeah <laughs> yeah no, i i hear you there man but yeah i hope i hope Tarkov can pull its shit together because it is definitely Oh man, it's probably the best in, in its class still. Like, I oh, I, I, I hope um, nothing. Hope they pull through. This is the positive of Tarkov. No game 
can make you feel a sense of loss or a sense of victory like Tarkov. Yeah. yeah. It is it's ruined FPSs for me. I can't even play like battlefields and that. They're just tedious and boring. To yeah. Because there's, there's no like it's the there's no you're not invested the same way. Yeah. Like Oh yeah, I just mowed down five guys. Oh I'm dead. Oh I just mowed down another five guys. Mm-hmm. Oh I'm dead. Oh I've just died three times in a row on the spawn. Okay, and then I respawn again. There's just no, you just go. It took me a while to just see those games for what they are. They just, they got no soul. Mm. <laughs> they got no soul. <laughs> <laughs> um, they got no soul. Mm. Um, I guess I just moved on. But um, yeah, it might be just my age too. It might be like making fun of young people's music, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I will say music is getting worse. <laughs> hot, hot take, hot take. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm wrong on that. <laughs> I think everyone gets stuck at some point. Um, and, and that's just their music genre or the, or the you know, um, like for okay. me, it's somewhere in the thousands, like maybe 2006, seven, eight, somewhere. Hmm. And, and that's kind of where I got stuck like there's obviously newer stuff that i enjoy and i'll listen to and so on but like for me that's like oh that's when it was good like i hear a song and it just reminds me of a time you know i'm like oh yeah that was that was so good i'm totally addicted Um, to like 1980s music mm. i love like 1980s rock it's just it's just so outlandish and crazy yeah yeah i just that's what i love about it and it's like the all the power ballads and all of the cool uh cool music that they had in that time and the and the early 1990s right that was really good too um Mm. and definitely the early 2000s had some bangers (laughs) like (laughs) but it it really did start to go downhill but yeah off topic from gaming let's not talk about (laughs) (laughs) that it's all good man yeah but yeah like i don't know what do you think this arena of like breakout do you think I don't want to play the damn thing, but yeah, I can't. That, you think it's, you think it's just by the looks of it. You think it might be just this, the casual tark off as people. I've seen a lot of people labeling it out. I think that's actually a pretty good label for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the 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 question will be more whether there's depth to it, because mm. um, is it something that will just be like a craze for a minute, and everyone jumps on but you get bored of it and then the game just kind of falls by the wayside. Like we complain about the Tarkov quests, but from what I saw, from what I watching streamers playing it, the Tarkov's look, the quests look worse in, in arena. So the arena they, quests look worse. The breakout. Yeah. They did, yeah. 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 They, well, didn't I mean, seem oh, as, <laughs> they didn't seem as interesting to me anyway. Yeah. Like, and I could be wrong. Like I'm probably, jumping the gun yeah but yeah didn't i mean all of that's stuff. like really the quest is just to kind of push you around the map um to get people mm. to engage um and, and have it like a chance of running into people right yeah no it's it's interesting times it's i'm, I'm actually glad that some games are starting to come out now i was actually getting getting to the stage where i was going to take a big break from gaming to be honest mm. like I have done and then that they before. pull you back in. <laughs> pull you back in. It's just like, as yeah. you know about me, I don't like watching TV. So <laughs> it's it's just, yeah, it has to be a really good TV show to engage me now. Mm. So, yeah, gaming has definitely always been my, has always been my thing. Yeah. But, um, no, I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked for, for what's here. So, yeah, to summarize... I can people that are like angry with BSG get over it. You're going to have to spend some money. Yeah. Um, that's only realistic to do after you've played the game for like 10,000 hours, you know, pay a dollar. Yeah. And get used to real life. Nothing yeah. for free. <laughs> They're all trying to scam you out of money. Just, mm. just accept that. And if you enjoy the game, play it. Mm. Yeah. And you, we have if some, you don't, 
go say elsewhere. Yeah. And we have some alternatives in the mix that's gonna, yeah. well, if nothing else, it'll drive more innovation on either side because like Tarkov will feel the, a little bit of heat, you know, BSG. I don't know, oh, well, maybe we should, you know. And they are, I see Nikita's a lot more active in the community at the moment. Yeah. I see he's yeah. Cool. And that's good. See, Competition's com good. Competition's good, man. Mm. And, um, and this will, I, I think Nikita will have to stop taking his his fans for granted you know he's got to he's got to work mate you got to work for it yeah and especially yeah. after such a long time i mean this game like first time i bought it i think i bought it in like 2018 or something like a long mm. time ago like mm. like you know realistically what's the lifespan of a game and you mm. still haven't released your 1.0 and, and you still want people to play the thing so yeah um and it's gonna have to and i've i kind of laughing at the people praising this uh arena breakout forgetting it's a total play to win game and <laughs> it's it's a free the exact thing that all these people hated mm. <laughs> so so i just have to i'm throwing that out as a hot take <laughs> <laughs> so burn me as you like that that game is worse than it's going to be a total play to win game i know that company all oh, right that to the chinese company and they're famous for this so get ready guys because it'll probably get worse when it's released <laughs> you'll probably see people being able to buy altons and everything at the start of a wide war and have top gear yeah. and top ammo so be prepared <laughs> i don't think it'll be as balanced as you hope <laughs> <laughs> but could be wrong i hope i am man well, I have to see, man. I have to see. Cool, have to cool. See. Well, um, what I'll do is um, we'll chuck Hateful's links in the description. So anyone that comes across this and wants to go check him out, um, you can see it there. And I think we did a first podcast. Yep. We're done. <laughs> We're done. That's the first one. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully movies, it gets but better. Be nice. <laughs> we, we might have stupid opinions, but remember, we're just humans. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it gets better. But anyway, bye everyone. Ladies. <laughs>